Well, there's a good segue. We can move on to safety. Uh, now I can't remember who had it. Uh, I did. I did. Oh, John did. Rock so, and roll. I was looking at, you know, I, I guess it's kind of like wide receiver. Um, before, at the end of the season, with uh, Bobby McCain, who we brought in, who played really, I think, surprisingly well. Um, we knew Cam Curl, you know, is a keeper and, and going to hold down the strong safety spot. But at free safety, at the end of the season, I think most of us thought, well, McCain's going to go get a deal, a big deal somewhere based on, you know, playing really well for us. But uh, I felt a lot better when they re-signed him. He, you know, they re-signed him for on a two-year deal. So he's, he's going to – right now, he's our, he would be our starting free safety. And we've got Derek Forrest and Jeremy Reeves uh, backing those guys up. And then I guess Troy Apke is still a safety, right? I mean, we don't – he's basically a special teams ace, but he is, you know, he is listed out there as a safety. So, so we do have some players. We're not, we're, not in t- we're, not, we're not at linebacker level of concern, I think, with safety, but – um, so obviously we have to start with Kyle Hamilton, right? If, if he were to drop my gut feeling is that there's, he, it just can't happen. I just don't, <laughs> I keep looking at the guy's tape and reading, you know, some of the draft profiles and the rave reviews that he gets. And it's just hard to see him dropping. Cause you know, every time, every, with every pick that he's not taken, it's, it's going to be a lot of pressure that whole best player available thing. Cause I think a lot of teams probably have him top five player um, on their boards. Uh, so I don't think it will drop to us, but it, there's several players that we are saying that about. So somebody has to drop, right? I mean, uh, whether it's a, a London or, or Hamilton or, or somebody else unexpected. So he could be there. And I don't know how you pass him up if he is there. I guess it would be a quandary if like uh, someone like London was still there uh, because I just, I guess it depends on which they, whether we're really a, B, a, a BPA kind of a draft room or whether we are going to draft more for need. And even the need is debatable, right? Because uh, we don't know what the team really thinks. We probably think we need a, a safety more than a wide receiver. I don't know. But anyway, Hamilton's huge. He's 6'4", 220. Uh, not as fast as you would think for someone that has his reputation. Uh, most of the 40 times I've seen were in the 4'5 range or, or higher than that. Um, he had a really big 2021 and I say that with an asterisk because he only played four games so how can you have a really big 2021 in four games well he had 31 tackles three interceptions and three pass breakups in four games so that's how um, he played so well that uh, oh by the way guess who trivia question who knocked him out who, who ended his uh, 2021 campaign it was um, London it was Drake London mm. um, a collision with him so um Anyway, he, he was runner up for the Chuck Bednarik Award, which is like the best defender in the nation on based on four games. So that's that's pretty incredible. Um, he's just an incredible tackler. He's got really good ball skills. He's an intimidating presence over the middle, which is something we haven't had. And uh, I don't know when the last time we had that was. Yeah, we do. Um, Sean yeah. Taylor, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he wore 21. Sean Taylor, maybe. Yeah. Might be. Um, he's also could play free. He's one of the few guys that could play strong or free safety. Um, and I mentioned before, a lot of people are like, he's going to be a linebacker at the NFL. He's that physical and that strong and that, and that good. So I don't know, but I think he'd be hard to pass up. Um, other guys, other early round got first round or early second round guys that I looked at. I looked at Daxton Hill out of Michigan. He's a, he played cornerback and safety. For Michigan, uh, very fast, 4.3840, uh, good size. But I think he's going to be a cornerback in the NFL. He plays like a cornerback, not a safety. And, you know, it's hard to find good cornerbacks. So I think he's going to get drafted by somebody that's looking for a, a corner. Uh, so I'm not going to spend much time on him. I really love Lewis Seen, who is a, a, one of those Georgia defenders that we were talking about, uh, a three-year um, player out of Georgia. Pretty big. He's 6'2", 200, quite fast for his size, 4.37 for a 40 time. He had a great 2020, and in 2021, he had 73 tackles, an interception, and nine batted passes. He, um, if, he, if he's available in the second, he would be like the steal of the century, in my opinion. He's a really big hitter, uh, very smart guy. He's kind of like a, a stronger, faster, more athletic Cole Holcomb. He's got that kind of attitude. Um, and he's also a standout special teamer 
at Georgia. So he would be my guy um, because I think he he's not as flashy as some of the other guys, but he's just solid across the board. And it, and he's kind of a Rivera Del Rio kind of a guy in terms of character and how he carries himself. So I like Lewisine. Um, and then the, the last early guy I'll talk about is Jaquan Brisker, who's out of Penn State. He's uh, 6'1", 200 pounds. He's projected to go in the second round right now. He's another guy that is a demon attacking the line of scrimmage. He's a really stout run defender, very physical, great instincts. Um, he started out kind of slow at Penn State, and then he just kind of exploded. So he's, you know, he's kind of touted as a really quick learner, a lot of upside there. Um, he played with a hurt shoulder the entire 2021 20, season, which that's a tough injury to play with as a safety <laughs> because pretty much your job is tackle. Uh, you know, stop guys from breaking through the middle and tackle. Um, so I think he would be, he's definitely going to be, um, if he makes it to the second round, past the first couple of picks in the second round, I'll be surprised. He would be another one I would consider, but I really like seeing. And then as far as kind of later guys, and when I say later, uh, second day uh, guys, um, I looked at I looked at four different guys. I'll mention, I'll rattle them off. Jalen Petrie. Out of Baylor, I looked at Kirby Joseph out of Illinois, Verone McKinley the third, and um, out of Oregon, and Nick Cross out of Maryland. And I, we have a lot of local fans, well, like a lot of Maryland fans, uh, because of where we're located. Uh, I, I know a lot of people are higher on Nick Cross, and I like Nick Cross. Um, he's kind of a Cam Curl uh, clone, in my opinion, the way he plays. So not much you can say bad about that. Um, but the two guys out of the ones I mentioned. Um, that I really, really like at, for, for day two or later picks are Jalen Petrie. Both of them are small guys. Jalen Petrie's 5'11", 197 pounds, uh, runs a 4'6", but he's one of these guys. He's a Daryl Green type of a player. He plays a lot bigger than his stat numbers, uh, than his size on paper. Super competitive, a team leader, has really great instincts. They, Baylor called him a Swiss Army knife because they could plug him in. They could blitz him. They could plug him in. In the middle, um, he could pretty much play anywhere they asked him to play, and he's kind of a fearless player. He did tear his ACL back in 2019, but he's actually played great since then, so I don't have any concerns about that. So Jalen Petrie from Baylor is one that I love, and then the other guy I'll mention is Verone McKinley the third, kind of a mouthful, out of Oregon, another small guy. He's 5'10", 196 pounds. In his career at Oregon, he had 172 tackles, 11 interceptions, 10 deflected passes, Six interceptions last year alone. So he's a ball hawk. He's projected as a fourth rounder. So he's kind of like um, uh, the player, the player that Mark was talking about uh, later round Jim. If we could, if we could get him, um, it, you know, with one of those uh, late day two picks, whatever we have. I know we don't have a third rounder, but um, he's he's very coachable. Has really good instincts. Um, reads well, anticipates well at the line of scrimmage, pre snap. And he's just got uh, unbelievable ball skills. He's he's probably one of the best ball hawking defensive backs in the draft, but he can also defend against the run. Uh, he also had a, a torn ACL in, uh, in 2019. But um, so those are the guys that I like: um, Jalen Petrie and Verone McKinley the third. If we if we look at guys in the second round or beyond, that's what I got. FYI, I forgot to look this up when Mark was talking about things, but um, Brisker, Cross, and Hamilton were all on the official visit list for Washington. Thank you for that. Yep. Let me go back and look at linebackers real quick while I got the whole list up. Christian Harris. Uh, Which you wonder how much stock to put in that, you know, does that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess really. you have to put you have to put some stock in it if they like them, right? If they have a good visit. The I wonder if I've anyone's been... ever tried done a study on that and gone back know. and looked at who's visited versus versus who's actually gotten drafted. I think it would be almost impossible to figure out whether they got drafted, but they didn't get drafted because they weren't on the board or their board was better. You know, like how would you even correlate that? You know, well, well and we assume we assume that if they visited that 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 means that it. Yeah, that could all be a decoy. That's what I'm saying. They, right they could be playing. playing uh, I did hear one thing. I'll just throw this out there. All for, for the last month, I heard that the, the Washington. 
<laughs> so, okay, it's not I just don't me, know right? How much there time he is. Putting that kind of stuff. You you froze up on us for a second. You might want to say that one again. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, Chris Olave, um, you know, was apparently the at the top of their board for wide receivers. There was a lot of rumor noise around that until uh, Drake London uh, visited. Right. Became the top of the board. Apparently, right. you know, I don't know if any of that's true or not. That's just kind of the social media rumors 